Hello everyone, Trumpet Sound, Mission 9, 0800 hours, day 4, capture the monastery. That's what we're doing today. <clears throat> of course, not all in one video, because I can't upload that much, because it would take days. Eliminate AT, well, I can't even read it, it moved too fast. Those bastards. I were to punch them in the dicks. All in favor of me punching them in the dicks, say ah. Okay, I hear a lot of people. Maybe, maybe not that much. JK, JK, I am just uh, on a roll with these videos. Like three in like day and a half, two days, something like that. This will be like the fourth one, I think. Getting it done, getting it done. So it's all about. That's why I want to join the army. Yeah. That's. Oh my god, what I'm seeing right now is. Bleh. Man, they've been hammering that mountain all night. Looks like it's our turn now, Bravo. All daggers, this is Dagger 1. Stand by for tasking. The PLA have mortar teams set up in the monastery, posing a severe threat to our advance on this side of the island. Overnight fire missions have failed to dislodge them from their position, and Triple A is making air assault too risky. We're going to punch a hole in their left flank, using heavy armor and light vehicles supporting to bring direct fire to bear on the monastery. Infantry will then secure the monastery and eliminate the PLA mortar threat. Dagger 1, out. Affirmative. Dagger 1, Bravo, this is Dagger 1. Come in, over. Dagger 1, this is Dagger 1, Bravo. Standing by to copy, over. Dagger, your task is to facilitate the advance of tank platoon call sign Gridiron. PLA have established multiple defensive points along their axis of advance. Your first objective is to maneuver to Gridiron's right flank and direct fire support against AT teams around a PLA checkpoint. I'll copy, over. Dagger 1, this is Dagger 1 Bravo. Solid copy on all. Rolling now, out. Turn it over. We are Oscar Mike. Bravo, we're advancing alongside some serious ass. We've got to pave the way for some M1 Abrams to get up the mountainside. Let's roll! Dagger 1, this is Dagger 1 Bravo. We're approaching the Overwatch position. How copy? Dagger 1 Bravo, this is Dagger 1. Solid copy. Your targets are AT teams stationed in the tree lines around the checkpoint. Gridiron will take care of the armor and fixed positions. AT teams must be eliminated before they arrive. Copy my last. Over. Dagger 1, this is Dagger 1 Bravo. Solid copy on all. Proceeding to Overwatch position now. Out. Dagger 1 Bravo, this is Dagger 1. Fire missions are now available. Call the shots. Dagger 1 out. Let's bring down the thunder and fury. Call contacts on any targets. These guys have no idea what's about to hit them. Okay, random things on the TV can present some very disturbing things. Let's try to avoid that for now. This video may seem kind of choppy because I died a lot and I tried to cut out a bunch of the bullshit. Nothing really important. Just like random shit. Me dying a bunch like six times. I don't know when I first started this like over a year ago. I said, I'm a... Bravo, good effect on targets. AT threat eliminated around target area. Over. Dagger 1, Bravo, this is Dagger 1. PLA have another defensive position ahead. Gridiron will continue on road route. You are to break right through the oil works and proceed to the top of the incline. You will emerge on the right flank of the PLA outpost. Eliminate any resistance to clear the route for Gridiron. How copy, over. Dagger 1, Bravo, this is Dagger 1. Good work. Recommend you let Gridiron clear the road, then form up with them. Your next target is about a click down the road. How copy, over. Dagger 1, Bravo, this is Dagger 1. Gridiron is taking fire. Expedite your assault. Out. Dagger 1, this is Dagger 1, Bravo. Copy. Clear checkpoint at top of hill. Out. Dagger 1, this is Dagger 1, Bravo. Solid copy on all. Out. Alright, maybe I'll get to talk now for five seconds. But yeah, like I said before, 
I'm like, I'm gonna just leave everything in so you can tell what worked and didn't work, and now I'm just like, screw it. There's no way it can be entertaining for them to watch me die nine times in one video and not get shit done. So I'm going to trim the fat for you guys. Especially now since I'm getting a little bit better at it. I am just going to fucking rock and roll with it, bro. How does that sound? Does that sound good? Hell yeah, it does. And yeah, but the sad part is, is like, since it's so choppy as it is with all the deaths, I can't tell if I've cut out something very important or not. So if I have, I'm sorry. And I uh, feel like a douche for it. There's a lot of enemy hostiles. The one thing I hated too was like, my Jeep got shot or whatever we're driving got shot a whole lot. And it's like, come on bros. You don't shoot a guy's Jeep like a bajillion times. It's not cool. That is not cool. But yeah. This is one of the a little bit more difficult missions, technically. There's a lot of extra stuff you have to do too, so it can be kind of stressful. Plus, there's the whole timing thing, which that killed me once or twice. As far as I can remember, that was pretty bleh. But this game, for some reason, going back, it was annoying at first because I was not used to some sort of tactical strategy type shooter where you actually had to concentrate. And you couldn't just play Call of Duty, just run through everything and just like uh, LTRT like super quick and just snipe everybody from across the map. It's not one of those type of games as I reiterated in many other parts of this. It's just you can't just fuck around and just run through it like that. You actually have to take time and do stuff a little bit more logically and you can't just be a moral godlike like you can in Call of Duty. Also, Happy New Year's to all of you who celebrated New Year's. I know the Chinese New Year is like different than the American New Year's. It's we're celebrating the American one. It's 2013. Doctor Who, 50th anniversary coming up. Hooray! Hoorah! Everyone's happy. I'm happy. Are you happy? We're happy. Who cares if you're happy? If you're not happy, join the happy team. It's good for your self-esteem. That rhymed. Didn't mean to rhyme, but that's cool. One of my guys I work with rhymed one day, and it, <laughs> it was not funny, but it was funny. Because he just made a random rhyme, and <laughs> then me and him just got a huge grin on our faces, and that was... I don't know if that's an awkward moment or what, but I wasn't awkward about it. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. Who wants to play poker with me? I don't know. On and off, I'm a poker shark. I can go out and beat like 20 to... Th I, I beat grown men in poker one night. Won five whole dollars. Or was it ten dollars? Or something like that. It was like six people. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. It might have been ten. It was, it was some amount of money. They always decide to split the pot. But yeah. That was really awesome. Also, didn't know if I told you this, 52 inch Tessiga, I will be posting some videos of it, because I hope to do some type of video, like a webcam video, where it's like, hey look at my sword, and I'm playing stuff, and I'm also hoping to start a new series, along with build up some Mario hacks, and some new Vegas and shit, and have to upload that when I have time. I've got like a huge weekend I spent with my fiance, and then my work was like, here, come into work for two days, and don't come back for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm like, that's fine with me. I mean, fucking A. And it's going to discuss things I hate, which is going to be obviously pessimistic. But hopefully it'll be like one of those rage moments where you're like, heh, I understand where that guy's coming from. I agree with him. I like him. I'm going to subscribe to him and watch him. I don't agree with that, but I respect him for speaking his mind. Ho hopefully that will generate more of that on this channel. That's what I'm trying to generate right now in 2013 is more of a community. Well, it's awesome when y'all guys respond and I can respond to you when we have conversations about shit. But, for Jesus Christ, it's like, I upload a video and then no one comments on it. It's like, D well, I want to talk to people. I have no one to talk to. Come on. Answer my prayers. 
And I'll catch you on the flip side, Joe. Remember to fly even though I don't have to leave yet. Explosion. Dead. Alright, we're rolling. Catch you on the flip side, Joe. Remember to fly Thanks for watching.